Uh, hi, we're here today with Ashanti Davis from the Fleet Science Center at a wonderful exhibit here. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, the exhibit? I can. It's called Taping Shape. It is made entirely out of packing tape. Right now we're about a little bit over 150,000 feet of tape. And it's just a Scotch 375, very basic packing tape used for packing boxes. And it is an exploration of topology. Um, the Ruben H. Fleet partnership with the Center for Research in Mathematics and Science Education at San Diego State. Um, we're a part of a larger group called InfraMath, and we're exploring the cross-sections between art, math, and science. And we're doing that with this exhibit as a way to explore topology, which is PhD-level mathematics that explores surfaces, like this one here. So this is called a donut. Looks like we, a donut. You and I know it as a donut. In topology, it's actually called a torus. And there's a fun joke that to a mathematician, a uh, he doesn't know the difference between a donut and a coffee cup. And that's because in topology, donuts and coffee cups are exactly the same. They are both considered tori, which is what this subject is. So there's three main topologies in the structure. Uh, a torus, another one called a Schwartz P, which is a minimal surface, um, like a bubble. And then another one called a pair of pants, very similar to the pants you wear, um, but it's actually a topological building block. So you can actually use that piece to build many of the other topologies. So it's kind of a fun thing to explore. And it's made out of tape. You can walk around and it slide down one of the pants legs. It's really fun. So that's amazing that the entire structure is built out of tape. Can you tell us a little bit more about the tape that you used and, and how you determined mathematically that this was a, a structure that people could walk on? We use Scotch 375. It's got a 35 pound tensile strength in the machine direction. In the cross direction, it goes up to 70 pounds, and that's per inch width. So for every inch of this tape, it can hold up to 35 pounds in one point, or 70 in one point, depending on the direction. So we used a process of overlaying it in multiple directions, so going vertically, horizontally, and then diagonally both ways to create points that were very, very strong. And we continued that overlapping process all over the places. And it's mostly the floors because the floors are load-bearing, but they also pull on the rest of the structure as well. So we got it up to um, being able to hold a, a decent amount of weight um, in all positions and many times. And so it's been up since January and it's doing pretty good. We patch minor, minor little holes where I think more so um, edges of tape split. But other than that, we haven't had any issues. Knock on, knock on a Taurus, um, and it's That's been really amazing. great. How long will the exhibit be around? It's going to be here until June 10th. Okay. Oh yes. So come check it out at the Fleet Science Center. Donuts.